Hello everyone, my name is Maria Šandorová and I'm responsible for product development at Infinity. Today, we are bringing you the last big release of Infinity Forms, the Click Native Writeback extension, in year 2020. And I think it's an awesome release. It contains a lot of powerful features that will save you time and push the boundaries of data analytics even farther. Please give me a few minutes to show you what's new. This app is a simple demonstration how process visualization Infinity Flow, together with the writeback extension Infinity Forms, can be used for support tickets processing. In current version of Infinity Forms, you can use this writeback table for entering and updating information about specific tickets. However, when I want to update data about one ticket only, or do it on a mobile device, I would prefer to see something like this. And this is a single record view that's currently supported. But you need to click on this button to open it. In this release, Infinity Forms 8.0, we are bringing you this as a standalone front-end extension. Instead of having data in this table format, by default, you can have the single record view right here. And uh, what's so great about it? Once you already customized and created this writeback extension object, you just need to drag and drop this new front-end extension you can find in Infinity Bundle section. And convert it. Right now, because I'm in ClickSense, I can very easily update this sheet a bit to be sure it's really native for the user. And just use it. Single record forms extension can save your users time having exactly what they need on the sheet when they open the application. And it saves time to your developers as well, because they just need to convert the current object to this one. In the data model of this application, I have more than 100 millions of rows in a table. But that's the magic of Click. <laughs> However, just to load the data, more than 100 millions of data into a data model takes me around 8 minutes, without any data cleaning, any functions, transformations within the script. If these functions are there, it will be much longer. When I want to just update some information about the target here in this simple writeback table, I don't want to wait 10 minutes until the application will be reloaded again. Because of use cases like this, we decided to utilize something that's already available within the ClickSense, something very powerful, server-side extension. Infinity Forms 8.0 brings you the capability to update data within click default objects on the fly without any reload of the application. Let's see how Infinity Forms can save you time. When I change the target, even before I save the data, I see what will be the difference or whether the number of sessions meets the target right now. And naturally, I can update all other information within this Infinity Forms writeback table. Once I click Save, the data is saved to a data storage and visualized in Click Native Objects. This one uses the server-side extension function in its simplest form. Therefore, it was the first one that has been updated. 
Here the target is just a number loaded for each specific campaign. Within this click negative table, I load this data in the straightforward way again, but three times. I call the server side extension function within all these three fields. And within a pie chart, as you can see, the result of server side extension function, updated target values, have been used for calculating the share of total target. And all this can be done directly on the front end of your application without triggering any reload. That's quite powerful, don't you think? And I'm pretty sure that developers that are watching this video can't wait for seeing the function in the expression. So here it is for you. Within the properties panel, number of session is calculated based on a data model and the target is the result of a simple function forms read that has been added as a part of server side extension. As you probably know, the server side extension can be very powerful within the script as well. Here we have added two new functions for reading the data directly from the data source within the script and storing the data into a data storage directly from the script. What does that mean? In use cases like budgeting and planning, users very often require and need the functionality of pre-filling the data. Now we are bringing them exactly this functionality. Here I have the version 3 of my current plan and you can see that version 1 is uh, different and version 2 also contains different data. For version 3 I can say that I want to prefill the data by the constant value or by using the data from other existing version. Let's say I now want to use the version 1 and within this single form, I can already see that the data from version 1 will be used because of the logic that's behind the script. If this is what I want, and it is what I want right now, I can click on Update button. And during the reload of the application, data from version 1 has been used to pre-fill data in version 3 in seconds. If I want to uh, pre-fill the data by any constant default value, yeah, here it is. And once I do any changes here manually, I don't want to modify this update by the next reload. I save my changes and thanks to this parameter, once I click update and reload the data model again, I still have my updated version 3. And as time is going, I can work with the data, update it however I want, and just use this easy to be used solution within ClickSense for my budgeting and planning processes. Are you already thinking that uh, this is just wow? <laughs> I agree with you, but wait for this one. In the properties panel of Infinity Forms object under form configuration section and advanced settings, there is this new button, rest settings. From this release further, we are supporting rest API for loading as well as saving data by using Infinity Forms write back extension. Thanks to this, you will be able to connect data from data storages you already have in your cloud services like Jira, Zoho, or ServiceNow. Or you can be even more creative and get inspired by our mastermind, Tomasz Jancio.
Thanks to the newly added single record extension, you can create your own questionnaires within the Click app. But the new feature I'm going to show you right now is a new field type. Let's just fill this part of the form and go to the next part where I need to select different options from my drop down menu. Multi selection is a very important newly added feature in this release. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you are excited about the new release of Click Native WriteBig extension Infinity Forms. If you are interested in technicalities regarding newly added functions and features, follow us on our YouTube channel. New Technical Tuesday videos will be added soon. And if you want to try Infinity Forms by yourself, you can go to our webpage, fill the form and download the trial right now.